Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth is a psychological horror game made by Headfirst Productions and published by Bethesda. You play as Jack Walters, a private investigator straight out of Arkham Asylum. I'm Batman. You get a case investigating the disappearance of Brian Burnham in the town of Innsmouth, but there's more going on than you originally thought and you have to learn the secrets of the town cult. I think it goes without saying that the story is the best part of this game. It takes aspects from several of H.P. Lovecraft's books, mostly The Shadow Over Innsmouth and The Shadow Out of Time, and it does a great job of bringing them into video game format. Unfortunately, the game has a lot of major issues, the biggest of which are the game-breaking glitches. The game kept crashing for me in the same place so I couldn't even get past a third of the game, and it crashed four times before I even got that far. The glitches in this game are so weird. Like there's a glitch on the Xbox version where the water doesn't render at all. Okay, that's not game breaking, but you would think something that obvious would have been noticed during playtesting. Another problem is the devs were a little over ambitious with the gameplay styles. It has elements of puzzle solving, clunky stealth, clunky first person shooting, sanity management, and platforming. But each individual element seems half assed and rushed. They could have focused on one or two of these and had something really nice and refined. But the gameplay did do a few things right. I thought the damage and healing mechanics were done really well. Damage is done to each of your limbs individually, and different damage types require different healing items to fix. It's a really in-depth system, and it was improved upon to make the health mechanics for Fallout 3. I also liked how you go a while before you get any weapons. I've said it before and I'll say it again, the game is much scarier when you have no way of fighting back. Especially in Lovecraft. It really takes the power away from the monsters when you can just shoot an elder god in the face with a tommy gun. Sure, you can shoot the Deep Ones and the Shigaths, that's fine. But come on, don't let the player fight Dagon. That just doesn't work. Spread out, search the area. 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 Spread out, search the area.